the headlines. The new Lecter Central Committee member says ODP structures itself to move Ethiopia forward. Iran forms at US after Havas paved attach. Hello to you all. This is Aromia Broadcasting Network News. I'm Tom Scamulato. The new elected ODP Central Committee member says the ODP has, has been restoring principles and values of Gada system. Let us raise our reports. The newly elected members of the Ormo Democratic Party ODP Central Committee, while holding talks with Obian, said the party has played indispensable role to bring the current progress being seen in the country. It is to be recorded that the Oromo People's Democratic Organization has rebranded its name, logo, and anthem. Members of the ODP Central Committee said that the party includes the Gada flag in its logo to indicate that it is restoring the values of Gada system, among others. Our future is deeply rooted in Gada system. Our future is yesterday. That's not. It's not backward movement, but it is a few. It's a forward movement, but it it was a civilization of Ethiopia, civilization of Africa and the whole of Africa. So the values entrenched in Gada system may be important to restore for the nation for 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 the whole of Africa. That's why. The ODP took, for example, the Gadas flag with this logo. So, uh, back to the future. Our future is Gada, which is unity, which is Kutifacha, which is inclusiveness, oneness. They said the decision that the Oromo Democratic Party has made to engage youth leaders in various leadership positions is an indicator that the party is backing towards the indigenous Oromo Gada system. What they said has changed the culture of Ethiopian politics. Adding the retirement of the senior leaders with high respect is also part and parcel of the system. According to Gada system, uh, no one dies in power. Power is succeeded by generations, one behind the other. And that is coming back to our culture. Uh, the, the senior ones uh, go out, the younger generation come in. That has been uh, with us for a long time. It is a new culture for the political uh, arena in the country and in the world as well. But it's not a new culture for Oromo. As Dr. Mikelsa said, no, uh, Oromos are known by Gada system, which is a democratic. Maybe sometime we might claim the democracy springs from us and reach the world. We are going back to it today. So in our Gada system, the leaders are trained for more than 25, eight years and come to Gada, to become a Gada. When they transfer a Bali, a power transfer, one that transfers to the next, bless the new Gada leader. There is no such culture in Africa and the world. Some senior leaders who have been retired said that their retirement was made as per the culture of the Oromo people and with great respect. Educated and capable young leaders come to leadership positions. I hope they can transform our country and ensure the benefit of our people. We were born in this society. We abide by the culture of the society. We grow up in this culture. When you lead the nation, you produce leaders who replace you. Then you inherit them your works. You are also expected to support them even after your retirement. 
and Makale Committee on Merit and Lebet. There was a strong debate on the criteria to elect the new leaders. I think it was very fair and democratic more than the previous election. Our retirement was also made with great respect. Finfina City Administration Cabinet has decided to revoke lease agreements of 154 sites, totaling 4,126,423 square meters of land that have been fenced off and left unused for the last 14 years. Deputy Mayor of Finfina City, Ndur Takala Oma, said administration transfer plots of land developers various times in the past. Fikad Brown has more on that. Improper land administration has affected socio-economic development of the society as well as the country. There is a land which was taken by business owners, NGOs, government organizations and diplomats and has stayed for many years without any development in Funfine City administration. Deputy Mayor of Funfine City Engineer Takala Uma said they have been working to make land audit as per their promise. We have been working to brief our people about land audit of the city administration. Accordingly, with the first round of audit, we started our work here from in front of our office. Especially, we have returned land which was taken by different agencies and not developed yet, starting from 2005. We are also working to answer questions related with housing problems. Takala disclosed that the administration has disposed the 400 hectares of land from the owners as they failed to develop the places as per their agreement. When we decided this, we have passed through careful and legal principles which couldn't affect our business owners and the government based on the research. It's also checked by legal experts. According to Takal, the city administration has cancelled the lease agreement of 154 sites. Out of the total sites, some 95 are owned by individuals, while 30 and 19 by government and diplomatic institutions, respectively. The mayor further notes that the administration has also taken land in 11 sites from the major group as it is failed to carry out constructions in accordance with its agreement. He underscored that the land which is taken from different agencies will serve in housing development of the citizens. We will use the land for development based legal ground. The city plan, we have also planned to work with finance institutions so as to solve housing problem of our people. We hope it will bring a good result. It said that similar assessment will be conducted on sites that have not been developed so far. Some newly elected ODP Central Committee members say the OPDO has rebranding itself to move with this contemporary politics. The members have briefed open on the issue. Olmo Ben reports. The members say OPDO has rebranded itself as ODP, Oromo Democratic Party, and changed its logo and anthem to move with the level of its people's awareness and the current political situation in the country. They said rebranding has also eased the name of the party. The name that represents this organization was searched, looked for, and uh, finally the very popular one, party, has come up to, to the stage. The other thing is that in the, in the First name, Oromo People's Democratic Organization. Uh, Oromo is in now's name and before's name. Oromo is Oromo, always. Uh, as an Oromo, the value that we have is the democracy. So uh, the word that people say is Oromo is already known that we are the peoples. So that is a redundancy. So you cannot even translate them. Oromo is Oromo, democracy is democracy. Parties party in all language. They have also said the changes that have been registered at the country level was initiated among the Oromos and that's why rebranding of the organization is needed. The struggle, the Oromo struggle, uh, was in fact uh, systematically led by the ruling party of Oromia, which was Opidio, now ODP. So, uh, the transformation that Ethiopia entered into started from within a video, within the Oromo. Hence, any action 
taken by the largest people. They also stress that being competent and optimistic in political game is very crucial so as to transform socio-economic and political standards of one's nation. Democracy is to be implemented in its totality in this country. And that means we are going to compete as a party. We are going to compete. To compete, you need energetic, visionary, and powerful leaders. And this power, this vision, is with young leaders. They noted that no country remained dictator across the world, adding struggling for the freedom of democratic and human rights is natural. Democratization is a movement that is uh, it is the, there is a standard that a country must meet after what? No country will remain dictator. No country will remain, I mean, in, 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 stagnant. The, the, the world that watches us, international activities are over there. So you can't uh, use the, the terms uh, movement, fronters, uh, organization and whatever uh, anymore. You, you are going to adopt party because you have to live when you are defeated at the poll. Our culture and uh, our fix exhibition and bother has been kicked off in Finfine City. So we check up on each other more that. <laughs> In connection with the upcoming Richa Festival of 2018, the first and unique and its kind exhibition and the bazaar has been started at Oromo Culture Center in Finfine City. The exhibition and the bazaar has been organized by Masarat Laba Advertising in collaboration with the Oromia Tourism and the Culture Bureau and Oromo Culture Center. Organizer of the exhibition, Masarat Laba said, it is last for nine days till the eve of Oromo Tankers Giving and a Demanding Festival Richa. <laughs> kabajama sanandro guyo tasagalif kanturu manni oromo fi akasma sabaf sablamun biye kana richa festival is planned to be celebrated on september 13 and this exhibition has been prepared for 9 days to make oromo and other nation nationalities and the peoples of this country now oromo culture history and Oromo culture dressing and different Oromo culture foods, she said. A Bagada of Tulema, honorary doctor, a Bagada of Yena Sambeto, while opening the exhibition, said, Oromo have to strengthen and appreciate its own assets. I get surprised by it because it is for the first time when Bazaar and the exhibition is prepared to promote Oromo's different outfits and cultural foods in Funfune City. Especially, I get amazed with preparation of it to continue for more than a week before Recha Festival. It has a great meaning for us and also for others. It reduces different costs for those needing Romo cultural dress and food. Some customers and the merchants participated on this exhibition say this exhibition is not only about promoting culture and buying and selling, it also has the capacity to be proud of one's identity. <laughs> it provides different Oromo cultural food called Chuko, Chachapsa, Kochkocha and others. It's only to make them to taste the food we provide here. As you are seeing here, it is provided only for taste. We don't sell it because when they got it good, they buy it other time, she said. You are watching Open News with me, Thomas Kamalatana, news from Iran. Iranian President Assar Rouhani has criticized the U.S. following the deadly attack on military pirates. Gunmen opened fire at revolutionary ground troops in the southwestern city of Avaz on Saturday in an attack claimed by both and anti-government Arab groups and Islamic State militants. Mr. Rouhani said the bully U.S. and the Gulf of State is Baghdad enables the attack. Mr. Rouhani will face Donald Trump at the United Nations General Assembly this week. Saturday's attack at 
killed 25 people, including 12 soldiers, civilians watching the parade, and a four-year-old girl. Avaz National Resistance, an umbrella group that claims to defend the right of the Arab minority in Iran, Kuzdan province, said the group was behind the bloodshed while I IS also claimed the attack. Neither group provided evidence to show that it was involved. Speaking on Sunday before leaving the, for the United Nations, New York, Mr. Ryan